Today, leaders in Central Florida are preparing for the future beyond the pandemic. Tonight, we have team coverage on the push to bring back tourism and planning for the return to the classroom. We start with New Six's James Barbero in Brevard County with a closer look at how things will look in classrooms this fall. James. First is our BPS COVID-19 mitigation strategies for the anticipated 21-22 school year. It will be a new year, but the Brevard Public School Superintendent says students and employees will still see some of the same practices as last year. Dr. Mark Mullen says distancing in schools will still be emphasized when feasible, and schools will still have plenty of cleaning products. Also, the superintendent says there could still be plexiglass barriers, and water fountains will still only be for filling water bottles. No sipping challenges that we will continue to face next year um, in some way, shape, or form. <laughs> the new year changes will include face coverings. Families who demonstrated against wearing masks in schools are pleased the board is making masks optional for students and employees, at least for now. I appreciate the board doing the right thing and making masks optional, but it's still on the table for you guys to change your minds at any time. Take that policy out it cannot be on the table. It's not your role to force our kids to wear medical devices. The board says masks will still be available for anyone who wants them. Families will not get a choice next year about e-learning. Brevard Virtual School will be available, though. The state has not authorized e-learning, so that it, it couldn't be on the table, even if we wanted it to. Not that we do. Brevard Public School students start school August 10th, and the district says foreign exchange students will be allowed back this year. In Brevard County, I'm James Sparvero, getting results, News 6.